Why I love science is that it can be applied anywhere. It's just different and it's a different way to look at the world instead of what you see all the time. My favourite subject is actually art. You've got to put on your lab coat and your goggles because you don't want anything getting in your eyes. What came first, chicken or the egg? You could say the chicken, but again, how would the chicken be born through the egg? And who laid the egg? The chicken. Probably the egg because of dinosaurs. It kind of makes sense, doesn't it? Oh, I always thought the chicken came first, just... How? The chicken. The egg. Chicken. The chicken. Thanks. The egg. <laughs> the chicken came from the egg. The real question is, what kind of egg are we talking about? I think we could live on a planet, another planet, but they're probably millions of light years away. It will become more and more frequent and more and more easy for people to access space. You look at the first man on the moon, everyone was over the, m over the moon. Well, I heard that people are trying to go to Mars, but then that might have just been a dream. There's, there's no way that we can be the only ones. If an alien's watching this right now, just know that we really like you and please just, please just don't like hers. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I think science would be more important to mankind in the future rather than love, even though the movies would probably show otherwise. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe sight, no, love, love. Love and emotion will help kind of keep us in check. I value love over science, but science happens every day. Science is happening right now as we speak. Because you can't really have one without the other. Because you can't understand the world around you without it. It's just, it's just necessary. Like, it's like language and maths, you just need it.